Before I set out on this journey, I need to know the odds I'm up against. Is my dream that we're not alone in the universe science fact or science fiction? We're on our way to meet a very, very intelligent man. A man I was brought up watching. A um, very old man now, unfortunately. I think he's 86 years of age. Sir Patrick Moore. Here we have many of the, of the mountains and craters. There's the uh, Sea of Crises, the one that I showed you on the lunic pictures. Uh, there's a well-known crater, Ptolemy, in the early 100 miles across. I mean, it's a bit of a moment for me. I'm a bit, a bit nervous just because of his intelligence and how much he knows about space and, you know, planets and, 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 and how little I know. And so, you know, I don't want to come at him with a UFO, UFO thing, because he just might throw me out of his house. Look at all the stuff he's got up here, look. These caricatures of ideas of... I mean, look at that, look. I love that. You know, what does it all mean? What does it all mean? This is what intrigues me, because I'm going to think he's going to be very sort of anti-alien, you know, greys, all this sort of stuff. He's more scientific about it. But look, he's smothered his walls with all this sort of stuff. You know? Fascinating, look at this. Sir Patrick, how are you, sir? So I'm going to ask you straight away, I mean, do you believe um, there is intelligent life elsewhere in the universe? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell you why. Our sun is one of the hundred thousand million stars in our galaxy. Our galaxy, well, we can see a thousand million galaxies. So the number of stars known to exist is colossal. And we know now many of these have planets, and there must be many where life could appear. Mm. What we don't know is this. Find the world where life could appear, will it? Mm. That's what we haven't proved. Seeing is one thing, and proving is quite another. This is the thing. I mean, there has to be. I mean, it's a ridiculous idea I that, quite that agree. there can't be. Can't I, I quite agree. So, I mean, do you believe that um, aliens have visited Earth? There's no proof that they have. But no. if an alien had come here a million years ago, which is a very short time, he'd have found no trace of intelligent life. I'm not sure he would know, man. No, I, to be fair, mate, yeah, I, I don't think it's a good time for him to visit at the moment. I don't know, I don't know. I mean, what are the chances, do you think, that we're going to find intelligent life, you know, given the vastness of space? The general consensus is there must be life up there. We must try to find it. The chances are very slim, but they're not nil. No. If we don't try, there's no chance at all. Well, of course, we've got to try, haven't we? We have to try. Right. You give me confidence, really. You've not shattered me dreams. You've not basically told me... You know, you're running around on a wild goose chase, which means well, a lot to me. And... and if you did discover and contact life elsewhere, it would be the greatest thing for mankind that's ever happened. Mm. Mm. And um, it's not impossible. The chances are low, we know that. Mm -hmm. Patrick, it's been a real moment for me. Nice to see you. Oh, thank you so much. I've learned a lot. Nice to see you. Um, beautiful. I'm going uh, to leave you to it. The cricket's on, clearly. Love a bit of cricket, I love that. He's got a drop of wine in front of him. Good luck with everything, OK? And you. True gentleman. I thought he was going to totally put me off the whole thing and say that I've been looking at the stars for a long, long time and, you know, there's nothing going on, boy. Forget it. But he hasn't. He's not said that to me, you know? He's saying that... There's definitely things going on out there, and it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. <laughs>